In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Kohler Adjuste 3-in-1 Multifunction Showerhead. This is also called the Maxton. So here you can see the name. This would be called the Maxton if it's sold through Lowe's. I haven't seen any noticeable differences, but I just wanna point that out. This may come up as the Maxton. At Costco, it is listed regularly at $99.99. I got a $25 discount, so it came out to $75 plus tax. Let's proceed with the exterior marketing. We will unbox it, I will show the contents, and I will proceed to install the shower head. And again, you can pause it any second. Item number right there in case you wanna find this at your local Costco. Here we have everything that comes inside. We're going to have our main shower head. Stay tuned. I'm going to try to take out this water restrictor here so we get better water pressure. This is the magnet for your supplement shower head. Our supplement head is adjustable to adjust the jets. And here is the magnetic end that will attach there. It's a very strong magnet. Lucky for us, we have plumber's tape included. The Maxton review, which another reviewer did, mentioned this was not included. So the Adjuste, the little difference, I don't know if they just changed the name, but this one does come with it, thankfully. And for our flexible water line, we're going to just remove these protective pieces here. Our flexible water line comes with gaskets in there, so we might not need to put the plumber's tape. For better reference, this is a six foot flexible water line that comes in this kit. And I went ahead and measured it, but this is so you guys get a better visual representation of it. That's gonna be very long if you have any dogs, kids, or you wanna even mount this accessory head across the wall. Here's the very simple manual it comes with. And if we see there, it's saying to put the plumber's tape on your main water line here. Again, you could pause it any second. And the one tool you will need is an adjustable wrench to tighten it on there. You can do it by hand, but this will assure that you don't get that leak. If you notice on this flexible water line, it is not mentioning to put the plumber's tape. So again, you can, but it's showing not to. Here it's pointing out that you could adjust the water flow with the lever. And the last step, it is mentioning to check at all of the connection points for water leaks. So as y'all can see, I'm about 6'3", and the main reason I wanna switch this existing shower head is that I'm kinda of tired of having to, you know, do the limbo on the shower head, and the other one's gonna give me a little more height. We're gonna start by removing this counterclockwise with our adjustable wrench here. And again, it's not a requirement to use plumber tape. This one in particular has a little gasket inside, but you can use that if you want to have a little more security. Okay, next we're going to be removing this restrictor. I have these little picks. I can link it in the description. They're sold on Amazon pretty cheap and they're quite useful. So what I want to do is with this pick, I'm going to just slightly kind of wedge it between that screen and then just lift outward. This is what gives us the frothy water. And now what we want to do is remove this restrictor here. Again, with a pick, you can just lodge it in there and pull outward. All right, now that we have the restrictor out, this is quite sturdy, so just be advised it might be kind of finicky to take out. We're gonna have unrestricted water flow now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now with the plumber's tape, I'm going to wrap it around clockwise 
on the threads so that when you're screwing on your main shower head, it's going to go with the plumber's tape so it doesn't kind of pick it up. Again, just a small detail, you can do it either way, but you don't have to get too crazy with it, just two to four times it should be good. You just wanna get a good contact so that it grips better on the thread. Okay, now we're going to install our unrestricted main shower head. We're going to hand tighten this piece first in a clockwise rotation. And then towards the end, we're going to torque it just a bit more with the adjustable wrench. You don't need to go too crazy with this. Make sure your shower head is perfectly straight or to your liking. And just come in with your adjustable wrench. You don't need anything too big for this. This is about seven eighths. And then just for reference there, you can see that this is now over my head in comparison to the other one. Next, we'll be attaching our flexible water line and our secondary head. Again, just hand torque it. This has a gasket inside, so you shouldn't have to put any plumber's tape on the bottom. And this is bi-directional, so you can put either end on these two contact surfaces. And don't go too crazy with these pieces because these are not... Um, as durable as this main contact point on the main shower head. So this is a bit of a softer metal. So just hand tighten. And you can see here how strong this magnet is. If you'll notice here, you can adjust just the bottom portion if you'd like. So you can adjust the angle of the spray and you can adjust the top as well. All right, let's do a test run. Fantastic water pressure. Okay, so the water pressure is much, much better than my original shower head, but we are getting some spill on our main contact points. Really quick, I just wanna point out the main reason we're having that spill is because I forgot to reattach this gasket with a little frother, so let's put that back in. Okay, I'm gonna reattach it and we'll check for spills again. Highly, highly recommend to remove that water restrictor. That pressure is insane. This supplemental head was spraying pretty hard all the way across my shower. That's about six feet in distance. And if you wanna keep that restrictor on, uh, by all means, it's going to save you water and everything. For me, I personally feel that since there are two shower heads, you're going to need more pressure because with the restrictor, this is kind of gonna dribble out. Again, look up the other two videos on YouTube showing the shower head, but Removing that restrictor is night and day. This was spraying pretty hard. Again, this isn't a perfect video. I'm not a plumber by any means. I'm an average consumer that just took some time to install this. If you guys enjoyed this, please like the video. It takes half a second. Uh, subscribe if you like content like this. And again, this was on sale at Costco for $75. Normally retails for 99. I removed the water restrictor. Hope you all have a great day, great evening. Striker out.